welcome to its traffic in this video i am going to explain chapter 5 from class 10 computer science book of seba board the chapter name is nested loop in c in previous chapter we have discussed about loops there are three types of loop while loop do while and for here we learn how we can create a nested loop now when we say nested loop that means if we create a loop inside a loop that is known as nested loop so let's see the syntax or signature of nested loop suppose we have loop 1 and inside the brackets we'll have the another loop that is loop first one is loop 1 and second one is loop 2 and inside loop 2 we have the statements then loop to close and here we have the statement of loop 1 And here loop 1 also close so this type of loop is known as nested loop here loop 1 is called outer loop and loop 2 is called inner loop now let's come to the book So this is the signature loop 1 and loop 2 inside the loop 2 we have the statements and in book inside the loop 1 uh, there is no statements but if we want to display some statement in loop 1 that also we can do suppose we want to create an nested loop in book it's given both inner and outer loop are in while i and t i equal 0 while i less than 10 then again i and t j equal 0 while j less than 20 here inside while loop means inside the inner loop we have printed this one percent d percent d then i and j means we are displaying the value of i and j then each time inside the inner loop we are increment the value of <coughs> j by 1 and when it run 20 times it will exit from the while loop again uh, inner while and again it will enter in the outer while loop again it will run 10 times means the loop will run in total 10 into 20 i think it's a uh, hundred times so let's see how these uh, program work will open code block and will create a file or open an existing file I am here opening one existing file so first we'll declare a variable int i and we'll initialize the variable as 0 after that we'll create a while loop so while we will write the condition as i less than 10 then inside the while loop again we will declare a variable so i and t this time we will keep it as j j equal also 0 and here again we will define a loop while j less than 20 after that inside this loop we will write printf statement printf and here we will display percent d two times percent d one space percent d after that new line slash n and the value of ij is or the value of per, the location of percent d percent d is i 
N, J. Now we'll put semicolon and we'll increment the value of J by 1 by writing J plus plus. Then now we'll come out from the inner while loop. We'll go to the outer while loop. Here also we'll increment the value of I by 1 and we'll put semicolon. So here this while loop is outer while loop and this while loop is inner while loop. In inner while we are incrementing the value of j by 1 and in outer we are incrementing the value of i by 1. Now let's run it. So you see here <coughs> at first time we have both i and j as 0 and 0. Next time the i value will be 0 and j value will be 1. Third time 2 and it will go till 19. Again it will repeat. Again it will repeat. Uh, let's go to the top. Now after exiting from the inner while loop it will again uh, it will increment the value of i by 1. So now before i was 0 now i is 1 and again this thing will repeat means from 0 to 19. So this way it will go on till the value become i of as uh, 9. So this way we can create an inner uh, we can create a nested while loop. Now see these numbers if we don't put slash n here and if we put the slash n in outer while loop then let's see what happens. Suppose I am putting here before i plus plus printf here just slash n. Now let's run the program. Now you see we have 10 lines and first line is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2 something like that means we have pair of two numbers that's why we are uh, looking like this first one is both i and j 0, 0 then 0, 1, 0, 2 then again second line 1, 0, 1, 1 means here i value in horizontally the i value is increasing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And here these are the j values. 0. So this way we can create nested loop. Now here some algorithms are given. So let's go to that. Problem solving using nested loop. So did you remember that star pattern that we got in chapter 4? Here what happened to display this pattern we are writing the for loop five times which is quite time consuming because we have to write the same thing for five times here just we change some values but this same thing we can do by just in by using nested loop while we create it by using nested loop then we don't have to write the same thing for Five times. Now see here the first line here line number one we have to display x five times and line number two we have to display x four times line number three we have to display x three times four two times and five one time. We have seen that every line the tux is same to display x the difference is the number of x to be displayed. If we want to write general formula we will say that in the k line we need to display x times means 6 minus k. Suppose the in the line number 1 k equal 1 thus 6 minus k equal 1 minus 5. In line number 2 k equal 2 means each line we are increasing the value of k by 1, 2, 3, 4 and we are 
subtracting from 6 this way we can uh, display the x so here is a blueprint of the program loop uh, iterate over k from 1 to 5 from 1 to 5 we are repeating display x 6 minus k times go to the next line so this way and if we use for loop segment then it will be like that k equal 1 k less than equal to 5 k plus plus display x 6k times go to the next line so the fair program will be like that k equal 1 k less than 5 k plus plus again inside for loop we have another for loop i equal 1 i less than equal to 6 minus k i plus plus and we will display the print and after that we will display our new line so let's create this program here we will remove the previous part we will declare two variables i and t k and i and we will not define the very values here first we will write a for loop for k equal 1 k we are starting from 1 and we will go till the value of k become equal to less than equal to 5 so k less than equal to 5 and each time we will increment the value of k by 1 and inside this for loop we will create another for loop for this time we have the variable as i this one also will start from 1 and we will go till the value of i become less than equal to k so we will write i less than equal to 6 minus k 6 minus k now see we are writing the condition as i less than equal to 6 minus k so at present the k will be 1 so 6 minus 1 how much will get 5 so the star will be displayed 5 times again next time the value of k will be 2 so here 6 minus 2 will be 4 so x will be displayed 4 times so this way it will go on again we will increment the value of i by 1 means plus plus here we will display the x so printf printf will write here just x and nothing and we will exit from the inner for loop and we will go to the outer for loop in outer for loop we will write again another printf statement there we will write slash n now why we are adding the slash n if we don't add the slash n all that x will be printed in the same line that's why when the inner for loop finish and go uh, repeat the outer increment the or update the counter of outer for loop it will generate a new line now let's print it so you can display this pattern of x if we need more numbers suppose i want to display 10 stars then just will change the value here to 10 and here also we will write in place of 6 here 11 so let's see so this is a pattern of 10 stars uh, 10 stars the same program we can do in another way also we will discuss it later now let's go to the other part the complete program is showing for loop in line number 5 is outer loop and okay they are showing line number here we see we are in line number 5 this is outer for loop and the for loop that is in line number 7 it is inner for loop and this is another for loop int k equal k i 
फोर के इक्वल वन के लेस देन इक्वल फाइव के प्लस प्लस आई एन टी आई इक्वल वन सो बोथ द प्रोग्राम्स आर सेम एंड इफ वी हैव टू डिस्प्ले द एन नंबर ऑफ स्टार्स देन व्हाट वी विल डू हियर वी आर डिस्प्लेइंग पर specific number of stars isn't it like we are only deciding how many stars should be displayed if we have to display n number of stars means the user will decide how many stars should be displayed then what we will do just we'll declare one more variable that as n and this is not mandatory that the variable should be n only you can keep any variable and we'll write here one printf statement here we'll write and the number of star and we'll scan the n so scan it here we'll write percent d and we'll store it in n so n percent n now in the condition here we'll go till k equal 1 k less than equal to n suppose the user entered 6 so it will go till 6 and here where we are subtracting so what we will do let's see in book here they are writing n plus 1 minus k n plus 1 minus k n plus 1 means suppose the user entered the number as 6 then the number will be 6 plus 1 that will be 7 7 minus k so here again another bracket and plus 1 then minus k so here n plus 1 minus k <clears throat> now let's run the program enter the number of stars let's see five stars so this pattern again let put some big number 25 so this is a big pattern let's number of stars to be 20 so this way we can do this program to display the pattern of triangle star so this way we can create nested for uh, nested loops in next video we'll discuss discuss about some other patterns so stay tuned thank you for watching if you want to watch the programming videos in asmis you can subscribe to the next channel which name is guwahati live I'll put the link in description and comment section. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.